Hey everyone, I'm not Dan, but in this video we're going to be learning about pressure and temperature. It's... Spin bit of nights are calling, can't find no sleep. Can't you see I'm falling? Going on here. Welcome back. We are continuing our exploration of the variables that affect gas behavior, which if you recall are pressure, volume, temperature, and number of moles. And in this video, we're going to be specifically looking at pressure and temperature. Now this particular law is called Gay-Lussac's law, which simply says that as temperature goes up, so does pressure. So to really understand it though, we need to have a quick little conversation about what is pressure. Well, pressure is nothing more than gas molecules colliding with each other. As they move around, every now and then they do hit each other, thus creating the phenomenon that we know of as pressure. So it should make sense that an increase in temperature will also increase the pressure. Because as the temperature goes up, remember, which is the measure of kinetic energy, so the molecules are moving faster, and if they're moving faster, they're going to hit each other more often, thus causing an increase in pressure. It's actually a pretty simple concept when you really think about it. But if you'd like to see it in action, we'll just come on right over here and we'll check out this demo. Okay, so what I've got set up here is a soda can with a little bit of water added into it uh, on top of this hot plate. And then right next to it, I've got a, an ice water bath. So what's happening right now is the gas molecules on the inside of the can are heating up, right? So temperature is increasing which is also increasing the pressure on the inside of the can. And then what I'm gonna do is once it's hot enough, I'm gonna flip it upside down and put it very quickly into the ice water bath, thus very quickly dropping the temperature and dropping the pressure on the inside. With normal pressure outside and a low pressure on the inside, the can will be immediately crushed. All right, so now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna reposition the camera so you guys can get a better view of this. So hold tight. All right, here we go. Check it out. And because there was low pressure on the inside, the water actually got pushed up into the can, hence the reason all that water came out. And because that one is just that awesome to watch, let's check that out again in slow motion. Well, thanks for tuning in for this episode of the Can Crushing Demo. If you have any further questions, please be sure to comment below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button while you're here. All right, remember, I'm not Dan, and neither are you. Check you later.